Hello and welcome to my Lightroom versus Luminar Neo review and which one is right for you. So in the world of photography editing software, there are two editing platforms that really stand out these days. And yes, you guessed it. It's Adobe with their Lightroom and Photoshop applications, which have been the kings of photography editing software now since the dawn of the digital era. Then you have the young, energetic pretender to the throne in Skylum Software with Luminar Neo, which is rapidly developing and growing into a state-of-the-art powerhouse. Yes, I know there are several other editing platforms out there, but for me, it really comes down to these two for the title. We all know Adobe has been a king of editing software, so for something to beat it, to the title, this is going to have to be either something very special or something very different. You see, Adobe can't really be beaten at their own game. That's clear now, and Skylum know that. And that's why they cut the rule book, they set it on fire, threw it out the window, and then they drove a bulldozer over it. <laughs> That's for me why Skylum are one of the only companies to not only get close to Adobe, but to actually surpass it maybe. Now, editing applications are tools, and we as photographers use them daily. And if you found one that's right for you, then that's awesome. I'm not trying to change your mind, and once you're happy, I'm happy. I'm just looking at these two with a fresh pair of eyes and genuinely seeing which one is best right now. So, um, come on, let's get into it and I'll walk you through it. So what are the key features of Lunar Neo? And it's only fair that we start with the contender to the throne, as let's face it, I'm sure we all have a very good idea of how Lightroom works. Lunar Neo is well known for its cutting edge artificial intelligence technology, which offers a seamless editing experience, allowing users to effortlessly enhance their photographs with just a few clicks. So let's have a quick look at its AI powered tools. You start off with Accent AI. This enhances your shadows, highlights, contrasts, and more, and it's all in a single slider. Noiseless AI then is designed to help remove high ISO noise from your images. Then you have Upscale AI to upscale, resize, or enlarge your images, which is handy for heavily cropped photographs or older images or drone photographs too as well, of course, because they're lower resolution. Super Sharp AI is great for removing motion blur or for sharpening out of focus photographs. Focus stacking can be used for macro photography to focus stack images perfectly into one amazing photograph. Background removal AI, as the name implies, it removes the background from your shots so you can swap out the background to something else if you want. Then you have HDR Merge, which is ideal for blending multiple bracketed images into a single HDR shot. We have Magic Light AI, which adds a wonderful glow or flare to your lighting with several easy to use adjustments included and you control all aspects too as well via sliders. Panoramic Stitching stitches several panoramic images together in seconds. Studio Light AI creates several different adjustable studio lighting effects with this awesome tool. Then we get to Sky Enhancer AI. It enhances details, colors, contrast in your sky with just a single slider again. Then we have Structure AI. And with Structure AI, with a single slider again, you can intelligently add structure to your image in seconds. Crop AI is an interesting one then. Through AI and machine learning, this feature will suggest the best crop to your photograph. Relight AI adds amazing lighting effects to your background via its AI 3D depth mapping. This helps to balance your overall lighting. We have things like Atmosphere AI. This adds specific effects like fog, for example, to your image, again, via its 3D depth mapping 
It works beautifully. Portrait Bucket AI. This adds background blur to your portrait shots to create beautifully shallow depth of field portraits. Then we have Face AI, where you can adjust the lighting on the face, you can slim the face, and there are also several controls for the eyes and the mouth too as well. So that is absolutely fantastic for portrait photography. Skin AI, you can adjust the skin smoothing, shine removal, and also use blemish removal. AI. Body AI is very handy for those unflattering camera angles, so you can adjust the body shape, and there is an even an abdomen slider in that too as well. Although this is not an AI feature, I personally find the landscape section to be fantastic. You have the dehaze tool in there now, but you also have a golden hour slider and the foliage enhancer slider. As you can imagine, the golden hour slider adds a beautiful soft golden or color tone to your image, and this works really well. The foliage enhancer then is great for getting those greens more vibrant in your image. And again, these are all super quick adjustments and they work really well. Now, if you want to see these features in action, then please do check out my full Luminar Neo review video, which I'll leave in the description down below. I thought there was no point showing you it all here now again. If you want to, I have it all laid out there. Now, another advanced feature of Luminar Neo is its advanced masking capabilities. With the AI masking tool, users can easily select and refine complex areas of their images, such as hair or intricate objects with precision and accuracy. This level of control allows for seamless blending of effects and adjustments, giving photographers more creative freedom yet again. Furthermore, Luminar Neo offers a wide range of creative tools, including presets, filters, and textures to add unique artistic touches to your photographs. The software also boasts a powerful layering system enabling you to combine multiple adjustments and effects for advanced editing techniques. All of these applications are truly amazing at what they do, but when they are combined with Luminar Neo, they are sublime. All for less than the price of an Adobe Lightroom subscription. This would really make you wonder, is this Luminar Neo versus Lightroom review already over? But just wait a minute though, and let's have a look at Lightroom's awesome features before you make up your mind. Lightroom, Adobe's famous photography editing software, has for years been known as the industry standard for photographers. It offers you a comprehensive suite of tools for organizing, enhancing, and editing your photographs. Now, one of Lightroom's key features is its non-destructive editing system, meaning that the original image files remain completely untouched while all adjustments are saved separately. This more or less allows photographers the ability to experiment with different edits and very easily revert back to the original image if needed. Lightroom's AI features then, Denoise AI is the only real AI based feature in Lightroom right now. Well, kind of properly in Lightroom. It does an amazing job though at removing luminance and color noise in your photographs leaving them super clean and noise-free, even at very high ISOs. And yes, Adobe are slowly starting to add more tools like the Focus Blur tool, which gives similar results to Bokeh AI in Luminar Neo. Lightroom has a simply brilliant brush tool with an auto masking facility in it. If you've ever used this tool, then you know exactly how good it is and how much of a time saver it can be. Another strength of Lightroom is it's robust cataloging system. Users can quickly organize their photographs using keywords and star ratings and things like that, or color coding, making it easy to search, sort, and filter images. Lightroom's organizational capabilities are particularly useful for photographers who work with large volumes of images and need to quickly find specific photographs. In terms of basic editing features, Lightroom offers exactly the same features as Luminar Neo does and most editing platforms do out there. You can adjust your whites, blacks, shadows, highlights, sharpness, contrast, saturation, U, white balance, all those sorts of things. So it is very, both platforms are really very straightforward in that respects. Now I have a full list of the Lightroom versus Luminar Neo features in my blog post, 
which I'll leave in the description below if you want to read into that in a bit more detail. I've everything explained there. So Lightroom versus Luminar Neo prices. Luminar Neo is crazily cheaper than Lightroom, as Lightroom costs approximately $13 a month for Lightroom and Photoshop. Whereas Luminar Neo is right now costing $79 a year, so it works out a good bit cheaper and it has more features. Lightroom has deals around Good Friday that cut the cost a bit for yearly subscriptions, but they don't do discount codes. Whereas Luminar Neo have given me a 10% off discount code, it's Kieran10, or you also get a $10, 10 pound or 10 euro discount code, which is Hayes10. So use whichever one you want to give you the best discount. But this all basically means you can buy Luminar Neo today for one year for just $69, which is stupid money for something this good. And if you want even more for free, then check out my discount code page, which I'm gonna leave in the description down below, where I post the latest up to minute offers and also details on the free gift you can get with Luminar Neo. So Lightroom versus Luminar Neo and which one is right for you? Now, this is a very difficult question to answer as I'm a long time user of both editing applications with Lightroom and Photoshop being my default editing platform. And I have a massive catalog of images in Lightroom. And I of course use Photoshop for a lot of my commercial shoots. In saying that though, Luminar Neo over the last 12 months has surprisingly started to creep into my workflow an awful lot more. So the best way to answer this is to actually look at these two different questions. If I were to start out in photography today, which one would I, which one would I advise myself to use? Lightroom or Luminar Neo? Or if I had to drop either Lightroom or Luminar Neo from my present workflow, working as a professional photographer today, which one would I choose? Lightroom versus Luminar Neo, and which one would I use if I were starting out again today? For me personally, I would probably have to go with Luminar Neo over Adobe Lightroom for a few different reasons. The first of which has to be its fantastic range of landscape and portrait editing features that not only give you great results, but also save you a lot of time too. I love the super easy sky replacement in Luminar Neo, and yes, I know you can also do that with Adobe, but Neo does it in a split second, and with Luminar Neo, you also have relighting controls, so you can match the color temperature of the foreground to the sky. This gives you super realistic results in seconds. And this, by the way, is something I find super handy for real estate photography on those dull, cloudy days. For portraits, Luminar Neo is the clear king here, as you can transform a portrait in seconds with its super easy to use AI tools. You can remove blemishes, relight faces, smoothen skin, change the mountain eye coloring, all that jazz and crazily even slim faces and bodies, which is super handy, as I mentioned before, for those unflattering camera angles. So it's a clear win here overall for Luminar Neo for ease of use, results, features, and speed of editing. So if I start the open photography again, my choice would clearly be Luminar Neo. This brings us to Lightroom versus Luminar Neo, and which one would I choose now if I had to cancel one of them? Now, I've been using Adobe Lightroom as my main editing tool for well over 10 years. And during this time, I have honestly grown incredibly fond of it. And it is a huge part of my photography workflow. So making that call is not going to be an easy one. Honestly, that is not going, it's one I never want to have to do. But um, like, if, if you would have asked me that question 12 months ago, I would have said fairly quickly, that I'd keep Lightroom and I'd drop Luminar Neo. Genuinely think I would. But today, I'm kind of verging more towards keeping Luminar Neo and dropping Lightroom, but there is very little in it. And I really do mean that. There is just nothing in the two of them. Now, if price is important, and this is possibly why a lot of people are <laughs> watching this video, is because Adobe is not the chiefest software out there. 
Illumina Neo is far more reasonably priced and it also includes more features like, you know, in fact, from time to time, Skylab have big sales on Luminar Neo, and I also have two discount codes, as I mentioned above, for their software. So do check that out in my, disc uh, my discount code and special offers pages, which I'm going to pop in the description down below to get you the latest deal on Luminar Neo. Now, getting back to editing and coloring, and never did I ever think I'd be saying this. But over the last year, I found myself using Luminar Neo more than Lightroom on both my drone photographs and my landscape photographs coming from my cameras. As I found it gives me slightly better results, especially in brighter scenes. The color balance in the edited images from Luminar Neo just looks slightly better to me personally. In short, choosing between Lightroom versus Luminar Neo it's really tough. And if I had to choose, I'd find it incredibly difficult to say goodbye to Lightroom and shift all my work over to Luminar Neo. But thankfully, I don't have to choose right now. But if you did twist my arm, I'd just about be leaning towards Luminar Neo and that's scary. That really is scary. But it just goes to show what an absolutely amazing job Skylum Software are doing with Luminar Neo. Now, is, am I saying Luminar Neo is better than Lightroom for everyone? Clearly not. But I would think for most people, it would be very close. And Luminar Neo might just be the better option for a good few people. I can tell you though, again, cancelling my Lightroom subscription would be a very scary moment for me personally. And it's something I'd definitely be thinking three or four times about it. Ultimately, the choice between Luminar Neo versus Lightroom comes down to your personal preference and the specific requirements of your photography workflow. Both of them have their strengths and their weaknesses. Whether you choose Luminar Neo or Lightroom, you can be confident in your ability to create stunning images that captivate and inspire. And the one thing I should say is never ever let software hold you back. And always remember, you are what makes your photography unique. So whichever one you choose, I'm sure it's gonna work for you. Thanks again for watching and see you out there or see you in the next video.